Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Nadia, I'm back. This video is pretty much a follow-up to the first video because now I'm gonna share the physical symptoms that I have been experiencing and I've been a little nervous about it, kind of like in fear of, you know, judgment from people or negative you know reactions from people but um, it is what it is okay so the first video I was talking about all of the synchronicities that I've been seeing all the numbers and uh, the, the visits from the, the owls and you know certain things like that that uh, the synchronicities that have been happening in my life and in this video I'm going to share what has been physically happening it started when I was 19 years old. So when I was 19, one night I was going to sleep and I lay down and as I started to doze off, as soon as I started dozing, I felt a tingle go up my spine. And it, it, it was like at the lower part of the back, like the sacral area, sacrum, and it probably went up midway right there. And it was just like a very sharp, like intense, tingling feeling and it's like that's the best word to describe it tingle and I felt that and I didn't know what it was, it was scary and it happened all night long every single time I started to doze off it was a tingle that went up in my, up my spine and I would just freak me out and I was crying I had no idea what it was I haven't told a lot of people about it I uh, told my hubby about it told my sister and maybe a couple of people over the years because that was when I was 19. That was, now I'm, I'm 41, going on 42, so that was 22 years ago. And 22 is one of the numbers that I always see. So isn't that interesting? That I now know what it is. I actually have read and found out what that was, which is crazy. That all these years I had in my 19 year old head thought that somebody put a curse on me. That's what I thought. I thought someone put voodoo on me. That was the only explanation for something like that. I mean, there were, I know it wasn't something like a muscle spasm, nothing like that. I mean, because you can tell. You just, it's, it was very strange, and it was whenever I started to doze. It was, it was just like weird. And it happened for years. It, for the first few years that it happened, it didn't happen every night every now and again but for the first few years it was very it felt the same very intense like tingling weird feeling every time I started to doze it got to the point where whenever I felt that happen one night I just didn't even bother to try to go to sleep I'll just go be a little upset but I'll just go sit out and watch TV like I don't know what this is and it would just piss me off and I just didn't know what it was I was just scared and eventually I stopped being afraid I just didn't know what it was but I truly had thought that someone put a curse on me. That's all I could think it was. Now, other than that, the more recent things that have been happening, starting with the ringing in my ears. So one day I'm in the kitchen, just one of the times. I hear it every now and then. It's like a just like a ringing noise. Um, one day I was in the kitchen with my daughter and I heard the ringing noise and it was kind of loud in one ear and I looked at her and she was like what I was like you don't hear that she's like no I, I said it sounds like a ringing sound and she's like no I don't hear anything I can hear the noise the fridge is making but I don't hear anything so um, at that moment I thought to myself that I remember reading something that said something about these are some kind of downloads or your angels talking to you something like that and I was thinking that in my head didn't say it but my daughter says to me you know they say that's when your angels are trying to communicate with you which was interesting that she said that as soon as I was thinking it but I didn't say anything to her I just you know just like okay I was thinking it but I'm not gonna say anything um, that has happened kind of frequently every now and then especially when I wake up in the morning it's almost like I hear energy it's very strange right so the next thing that I'll tell you that happened is it's still happening as I go to bed at night sometime 
And this happens every night. It's to the point now where I try to like try to play with it and and and, and I want to experience it. So when I go to lay down in bed, as I start to doze off, I feel this these flutters of like like energy, like like the chills kind of like. And it only happens as I start to doze off. So what I try to do is like catch myself before I doze off so I can feel it. And I'll feel it. Sometimes it lingers, it goes down my legs and it's like these like chills, almost like a surge of energy, but doesn't, it doesn't hurt. It feels kind of nice, but it's just a strange feeling that, um, that I've been experiencing. Also, one night I'm laying next to my man in bed and I'm just, I felt a little, like I, a little restless. I didn't feel sleepy. So I'm just laying there and uh, a little anxious feeling, not, not knowing why. So I closed my eyes and I swear it was like static, like white dots, like how the TV does when it goes, Shh, that's what I saw in front of my eyes. And I was just like starting to feel a little anxious, a little anxiety, weird, but I was like trying to continue seeing it and trying to see if something else happens. It's just strange. Uh, as well as sometimes I'll close my eyes and I'll see like waves of like color, kind of like a purplish kind of color, like it, it like goes in and out like little circles and like it's just weird. That's another thing that I experience sometimes. Um, another thing that happened, which I thought was strange, and um, I kind of wrote it off as no big deal, but I was going to the bedroom. I mean, to the bathroom, through our room. I'm the only one home. The kids are at school. Uh, Calvin's at work. And then I'm walking into our bathroom. I get in the bathroom, and then I see the light flashing in the room. So I go, and I'm standing in the room, and the light is just flickering, the light above the bed, just flickering, flickering, flickering. And I'm standing there like, is it going to blow? Like, why is it doing that? Like, I'm just waiting, standing there, and it just kept flashing. So I actually started getting scared. I'm the only one in the house. So I turned the light switch off and and I turned it back on and then it didn't come on. So I'm like, okay, it was just about to blow. That was strange because I've never experienced that. I've experienced turning on a light and then the light blow, like the, it went out, it went bad. But for it to just be sitting there flickering like that, it was just very strange and I just felt something and it kind of was, made me a little nervous, kind of kind of scary. And um, as well, I've heard or I've seen these things as signs of like a spiritual or psychic awakening or something like that. And um, as well as your phones or your, your devices acting weird. And my phone every day, every day acts stupid. And I just get to like, I'm getting mad to the point where I'm just like, you know what, forget it. I don't even care anymore. Um, but like I said, I wrote those things off as, eh, they're, they're not a big deal. But I, I just pay attention to stuff and um, just start noticing things. But like the most amazing thing, aside from the flutters and the static in front of my eyes, is the feeling of the chakras opening, which I, I got a tattoo on my back last year of the chakras just because I, I believe they're, they're real, I believe in them. Um, I didn't know how real they actually were though. Uh, coincidentally, I got a tattoo of it, but uh, I was gonna get like these African symbols on my back in red, black, and green. And something told me at the last minute, no, I'm gonna get the chakras because I want colors in my tattoo. So I'm gonna get the chakras because they're different colors. And just so happens that now I have experienced that they are actually really real. Um, sometimes I feel, we, we, these are signs of the heart chakra opening I feel like pressure in my chest almost feels like heartburn but it's not really heartburn and then like a warm burning type of sensation in the back between the the shoulder blades now, these are supposed to be signs of the heart chakra opening I feel tension sometimes around here and I haven't been working out this this whole experience has been taking all my energy I've been sleeping for seven eight hours and still am tired it's been very strange, but interesting and exciting at the same time. But um, the, the, I feel the tension around here. I constantly have the feeling of <clears throat> like I need to clear my throat. So I think this is signs of the, the, the heart, the throat chakra opening and, and stuff like that. Um, and then more amazing than anything else, the third eye chakra. So 
I noticed that here I read something about the pressure that you feel there and I've been feeling that here right it's like a pressure in the between the eyebrows feels like something sitting on on my head like something sitting there and um, I noticed that before I even realized what it was I would be doing this sometimes like just a feeling that something's on my head and as now that I pay attention to it I can feel it and sometimes it's like a pulsating type of feeling in, in between the eyebrows it's like it doesn't hurt but it's just like something's on your head and it's something's moving it's so strange um, also I uh, one morning I woke up and I could feel like a warm sensation on on the top of my head like a warm breeze just strange going across the head the other day I was sitting out I was going to try to make a video uh, at this wilderness place and I felt like something hit me in my head but it wasn't like it wasn't hard it wasn't like a real hit it was just like boom like a little pressure something weird it was like a little ache in the head just strange so it's just you know all of these things that have been going on has really made me realize and I, I as I looked up the, the the symptoms all of these signs of a spiritual awakening going back to the tingle in the spine supposedly these are that's a sign of a kundalini awakening where the uh, the kundalini energy is in the sacral chakra area and it tries to go up your chakras and awaken all of your chakras or open all of your chakras that's what I read about this stuff to me has never been that real and to actually experience this it's so crazy the the um the tingle feeling when i read that and saw the, the same somebody with the same symptom which was one of the signs of the kundalini awakening the tingling feeling which is like energy and that makes more sense of what it feels like like energy trying to go up your spine that almost made me cry because all these years 22 years i've been thinking that somebody put a curse on me and it was a, a, an awakening trying to happen. Like it, that, that made me so emotional. It, it was just crazy. Um, let me give you a, a weird situation with the number synchronicities. One day I'm driving in the car and I start feeling a nausea, like a nasty taste in my mouth, which made me like straighten up and like look straight ahead. And there's a car in front of me with 88 on the license plate. And, you know, I just looked at it, okay. I turned to the left, there's a car right there with 88 on the license plate. And I'm just like, okay, 88. And then I thought about it, and my car has 88 in the tag. So I'm like, hmm, just made me think. I'm like, okay, maybe I'll look up that and see what, it's, what it says about number 88. And I happened to just look down at my phone in my lap, and it was on 88%. And it just was like, oh my goodness, like a little, a, a little scary feeling, just really like weird. Um, another thing is the first day of school when the kids were going back to school my daughter uh, My oldest her bus came earlier than it came the year before It came much earlier. It came uh, and, and she missed it So I had to take her to school now before this like the day before that week I've been seeing 55 a lot a lot of 55s 555 five, five, stuff like that and so I go to take her to school and they give us a paper with the new time for the bus and the time was 5.55, so I'm like, there's the fives again, there's the 55s, okay, I guess I should go search the, that number and see what that's all about. So a little later on, I go to, I had to go to my seven-year-old school because I had to pick up her car rider number. They give you a number where uh, you had keep it in your car, and when you go to pick her up, you hold the number up, and when they see the number, they call the number, and it's like attached to her bag so she can come get in the car. So as I'm heading to a school, I'm like, it'll be funny if they give me a number with 555 or something with 55 in it. The year before it was 144, so I'm like, that would be strange. And so I'm pulling up to the school, and as I'm thinking about that, I'm pulling up. The car that I'm pulling up next to has 555 in the license plate, and I'm like, oh, my goodness. All right, okay. So I go into school, and when I'm going in there, I'm like, her number's not going to have 55. Like, that's just too much. I get it. I get 555 I should probably search that number and find out what it means and see what, what it tells me so I'm not I don't think they'll give me a number with 555 but I thought to myself 
it'll be funny if they give me 222 or something like that since um, you know I'm always seeing 22s and the number they gave me was 223 is that a coincidence I don't think so so all of these things that have been happening are very like crazy I think a lot of us are having a lot of us are going through an awakening and don't know that we're going through it we don't know what it is you don't know what a spiritual awakening is you just you, you kind of know but you don't really know what it is so I think when you write off all of this stuff that you see because I think the universe communicates with us through all kinds of ways whatever you know we pay attention to and if you write it off as nothing all the time then you are like blocking yourself from from actually being opened up to to receive and, and see more uh, things and more signs um, aside from that the chakras is something that you probably should pay attention to or look into because there are signs of blocked chakras like if you have a problem expressing yourself thyroid problems communication problems there's like si signs of a block throat chakra and then there's different symptoms for the different ones in your body so that's something interesting to pay attention to to look into that may um, uh, help you to open up and receive um, guidance from the universe it's been been really strange but I'm gonna continue to um, make videos and share what I'm going through because I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know why something has been leading me to share and tell people about it I don't know where it's going to take me, don't know where I'm going to be next year with it, but um, I think documenting this down is going to be good for me. So that's it. Have a nice day. I forgot one. So, so much stuff has been happening. There was another one that I wanted, another symptom that I forgot, so I had to just record again and add this to the video. I'm sitting in the living room one day and I'm seeing a flicker of light at the side of my eye, like a light flashing, like just a, some kind of light. And I I'm turn and it's not there. Every time I try to see it, it's not there. But if I look straight ahead, I'm seeing like a light flickering and I do like that and it's gone. And it, it eventually stopped, but I probably looked crazy when I because <laughs> I was trying to see it. And I kept doing like, like what is that? just like a little light flashing but it's like I only see it when I'm looking straight up it's like in the peripheral vision like a, a, a light flashing and every time I try to see it it was gone so um, I think I may have read that somewhere as a as a sign as well I don't know I've been I've been reading so much it's ridiculous but um I just wanted to add that to the video because I didn't want to leave that out because I think that's pretty pretty uh, interesting that's all